Hi guys and welcome to this short tutorial where I show you how to use the merchant mod. Now the merchant mod has been out for almost a year. So some of you might be familiar with it and some of you might not. Uh, the basic idea behind the mod is that you can set up a shop and run it. This is basically a better version of the Savior Seller mod that I made years ago. So let's start with setting up our shop. Uh, the mod comes with two objects. The first one is the register and then we have the merchant box. And basically we can start setting up our shop. So we can give the register a name if you want. We can set the owner, Jonathan. We can set an employee. We are going to select Jonathan as well. Usually I like running my shops manually. So if I'm playing the family who owns the shop, then I usually don't set up um, an employee so I can manually tell him to restock and tend the register and things like that. But if I am playing other families and I want them to uh, visit the shop, that's when I have I, that's when I set the employee to the shop as well. And what's new in this version? Now, the reason I'm doing this tutorial right now is because I have been doing some updates to the mod and I thought this is a good moment to show you this mod in action. So what's new in this version is that uh, you can set working days to your employee and to the shop as, as well. So you can basically say that we only work on Thursday and Tuesday if you want. And there is an option here, show working days. And the reason I had to do this is that even though I give the list of working days, this information, like what days the uh, player has selected previously, it doesn't like show in the list like what you have selected. So that's why I had to do it so that one option is that you select the days and if you want to see the days, you have to select another option. But maybe one day I will figure out what's wrong with that, these two options. So you don't have to have two separate options. And what else did I add? Yeah, I also added this in this new version is that if you want to um, hire an out of the town, how say homeless seem to be your owner or employee, you can do that. If you don't want to, you can have this off. Like I don't usually care for homeless sims, so I have that off. But you can select that so you can have homeless sim to be your employees if you want. And then of course you have to set the price multiplier like how much profit you want and what else do you want to set up oh of course we want to actually sell something so let's put something here on our table and then we enter the merchant mode and this is how you set up things for sale you just click them and you set them for sale and this option how this works this is basically from sim state mod from mod the sims like when i saw that mod i was amazed how uh, like good it was but it wasn't exactly how i wanted to run a shop and that's why i decided to make the merchant mod because the savior seller mod was also not exactly how i wanted to run the shop and code wise the savior seller mod was like a disaster so after you set things for sale you just exit the merchant mode and when you have like your uh, mouse on top of the register you see basic information so we work from eight until six our owner and employee is jonathan and we are currently not waiting for any customers and this one here, so this is basically so that if you want to sell items straight from the inventory, like you just want to click here and like some buy items straight from the register, you need to have a merchant box linked to the register. So 
this says shop from inventory and link to merchant box and now you have linked now you can see that we are linked by one box and then you can put items in here if you want to sell and there is one bug in this connection and it's basically uh, like if you first have items in the box and then you link items get lost but if you first link and then add the items it's fine so modest pixels actually first noticed this bug and unfortunately i wasn't able to fix it so just remember to first link the register to the box and then add items to the box so last thing is that we open the shop and now we go to our customer and we can actually ask her to buy something and the way this works is that every 15 minutes the register will um, check if the employee is working and if not it will call it call it it will call him to the register to work so we need to first wait until jonathan goes to work and things that the register also checks is that if there is something um, to restock the employee will do it so let's wait on for him to be done with restocking and now you can see that we have like one customer is pending now we just have to wait for them to stop goofing off anyhow we can also shop straight from the inventory of this mod and these items are now the things that are in the merchant box so let's buy that and let's buy that and the reason jonathan is not restocking these items is because the mod actually splits item into two items into two categories you have buy mod items that are restocked from the buy catalog and then you have inventory items and these items require that you have something inside okay let's put this one back here so this uh, restocking from an inventory item requires you to have the item in the inventory uh, like if we click here on the we can now restock the plasma fruit but we can't restock the tulip because we don't have it in the inventory and there are two versions also from restocking from the inventory one version is that you have a stock of items and every time this is restocked one item is taken from there and the other version is that you can turn on cloning and then when you have one item here this can be restocked forever because it just used it just uses the item in the inventory uh, as a base item and then makes a clone of that so now jonathan will go and restock this because we have an item in the inventory stop goofing around woman and then we can pay for our items in the end So now you see that uh, we don't anymore have this one in here. If we put here the tulip and then turn on clone from inventory. And then we wait for Jonathan. And so now you see that he restocked and then when we open the inventory the tulip is still here because this is used as a base to clone items 
And the idea behind this is that if you want to run a, let's say, a grocery shop and you don't want to grow all the items that you are selling, you can just have like a base item in the inventory and turn on cloning and then you can have a grocery shop. So this is the basic way to use this mod. There are many more options in this mod, but uh, I will not go through all of them. So you can just check the instructions for those. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention, and that is that do not use the transform giffer mod to uh, use another register to be a merchant mod register. Because my item, like my register stores all the information that you need to run the shop. And what I think happens with the trans for transform giffer mod is that for a brief second it will forget which item is referring to which code and when it does this forgetting it will lose all the information from your object and then the store will not run so if you want to have another object as a register you need to change it from s3pe so you refer to the code in there and there is instructions for that in the instructions of the mod so that's something I did want to mention. Anyhow, you can find the link to the mod in the description of this video. I think that's all I have for this mod. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and see you next time.